All right, so uh, today what I'm going to do is explain uh, how I want you guys to go about your research project on isotopes. And uh, this assignment will be due next Wednesday uh, by midnight. So um, you'll have um, to tomorrow, all tomorrow and all Friday to work on this. And I recommend getting picking something uh, that you, you wanted to, to research today and maybe read up on some of the stuff so you, you can kind of think about how you want to put your presentation together and the different topics and maybe some and things to investigate to learn about uh, whatever topic right you chose and uh, not leave this for last minute on Wednesday. So so anyways uh, so isotopes are uh, um, Specific forms of a an atom, and so are an element, and so any element has multiple forms to it, and so that we explain more to you today uh, in in your um, your lessons. So isotopes are found all around us all the time, and isotopes of an element can have unique properties, certain properties that make them good for for doing something. So. So anyways, there are um, ways you can approach this project. So here, here is a list of many different broad topics that you could choose from. So uh, um, isotopes for in nutrition, pest control, agriculture, nuclear weapon testing, smoke alarms, uh, biological tracing, things like that. Those are all Topics which may include more than one isotope, and that's just fine. So you can. So that's one way that you can go about this uh, project. Another way is that there are, are a whole list of isotopes that you could research specifically. The downside to doing that is that. You don't necessarily know what the isotope is used for until you go look it up. And so you can kind of guessing as you can choose isotopes, kind of guessing about uh, what it is your uh, research gene. Where if you pick a general topic like this, uh, you can pick something of interest right off the bat. So, so your presentation is going to have two parts to it, essentially. So the first part is going to be general information about isotopes and uh, calculating average atomic mass. So all you have this kind of content here. What we different is based off of whatever topic you pick. Uh, there's also some other ideas as well. Now, part of your slide shows you at the very end, you need to include a references page. And so I know uh, doing projects like this, sometimes students can have a hard time getting the ball rolling. And so I've provided some resources for you already. And, uh, that I know will get you in the right spot for uh, for getting started. And then uh, feel free to expand on that based off of whatever topic you chose. So here's a rubric how we created. So organization, clarity, content, and the uh, design of the presentation. Each of those uh, sections will be worth eight points. So it's worth 24. One thing to Sure that you are uh, not doing this assignment if you're not copying and pasting text into slides. It's really obvious for teachers. Uh, and for me, it is science teachers because uh, uh, you it's really obvious when something's copying and pasted when you see like language or words that have never been used in science. Our science class or probably any science class you have are, are included in. In there, and so do make sure you are uh, putting what you're learning into your own words at your level. And um, by not doing that, it looks pretty obvious. That copy and pasting that will affect your grade as well. So uh, here's the, the outline for your slideshow. So I have an interesting title slide. 
that it that kind of shares or alludes to what it is you're going to be talking about. And then the next uh, four slides will be general information about isotopes. And then the last three slides of information will be about whatever topic you chose. If you need more space, you can, you can add another slide there. Uh, and then the very last one will be a references page. So remember, you don't necessarily pick a specific isotope. It. You could look at the other direction and pick a general topic and then uh, identify what isotopes are, are applied there. So uh, if you have any questions, again, today, what I would recommend is figuring out what topic or isotope you wanted to research. Spend a little bit of time reading about it so you have a general idea of what you're going to talk about. And then spend uh, our class time that we would have tomorrow and Friday. I would finish it. I would, I would that's what that would be a good time to begin. Finish it uh, between Thursday and Friday. But if, if not, you do have until next Wednesday to have this completed. So. Any questions as you have them? Otherwise, of course, you guys speak. Taking you a while to stop recording. <laughs>